Hey, good morning, team. What's the agenda for today? Oh, what? You don't need a cleaning technician. You need a zookeeper. What is this? Oh my gosh. All right, Dr. Dan. Yeah? You have 24 surfaces and okay. kitchen tools that you need to clean only using a scrub daddy and that's it. Oh, and by the way, it's a speed run. Well, the, the key is to have the right tool for the job, buddy. So I've got 24 different items and we're gonna clean all of them with one sponge. Tell me when we start and we'll go. Begin. Okay, cool water. You'll notice that a scrub daddy starts to stiffen up. In cold water, they become scrubbable. And you get the ability to get even the hardest baked on surfaces clean quickly, like that. We'll do a little rinsing, we'll let that run. The round shape allows you to get into all the crevices of round things, like coffee pots and mugs and muffin tins and things of that nature. Now, we're not gonna use any soap at this particular point because we don't need it. That's part of the key of what makes a scrub daddy sponge different than any other cleaning tools that you'll ever find on a store shelf. This is corn syrup baked on cheese and ketchup. This will be one of the toughest messes that we get. When the sponge gets a little dirty, flip it over. But now we'll go to warm water real quickly. I wanna rinse my sponge out and you'll find that it becomes very soft and compressible. And now I can use it as a traditional sponge to wipe up messes and get rid of residue. We'll get my coffee pot. What, did you brew the hind end of a cat? What is wrong with you? But even stuck on messes come clean quickly because it's a scrub daddy sponge. Okay, baked on messes like this, we'll go back to cold water. But you'll notice the shape of the sponge being round gets into areas that other sponges just can't reach. And because of it, you've got the ability to get things cleaner faster. Now, if you want your sponges clean, you can do a couple things. You can put them in the top rack of the dishwasher. That'll get them clean and sanitized quickly and easily. You can also, if you really want to sanitize them, put them in cold water for just a few seconds, then put them in the microwave oven for less than 60 seconds. And that's gonna get things clean too. Here's another baked on mess. All right, we're doing pretty good on time, right? All right, rinse that out real quick. You baked this off, what'd you use, a blowtorch? Didn't break. <laughs> All right, no, couple more to go. If they're that ugly when they're clean, just throw them away. All right, more baked on messes, cold water. Allow the scrubability to kick in. Yeah, that one's gonna soak a little bit. We'll come back to that one. That one's a little, a little rough. Oh, gotta go to warm water again. Warm water allows the sponge to become soft and flexible. And now it can be put into small, small vessels like this. What did you do to that? Chocolate sauce, that's what I thought. A scrub daddy sponge was independent laboratory tested to not scratch 25 different household surfaces. So you can use it on your nonstick pans and not have to worry about rubbing off that nonstick surface that makes cooking so much easier and clean up a breeze Got that. And you want to go ahead and use that happy face to get both sides of, of utensils, like spoons, knives. You can use it for spatulas. And that cold water, again, allows a scrubability that a regular sponge might offer you. You know those ones that I'm talking about. They're green on one side and yellow on the other. But those tend to scratch surfaces. So the colder the water, the more that open cell design foam allows you to scrub without scratching. Baked on messes like this do require a little bit of elbow grease if you're only using just a sponge and water. But a scrub daddy is up to the task. 
That sponge, although it looks a little rough, it's gonna be perfectly clean in just a few seconds. We'll get the other side. Do a little rinse. Wipe down my countertop. I did forget about my cookie sheet. So going back to cold water, we let that soak for just a little bit. If because of the hot weather, your sponge isn't cleaning as well as you'd like for scrubbing, just rinse it in cold water, put it in a Ziploc bag, and put it in the freezer for 60 seconds. And then all of a sudden, it increases its ability to scrub several times over, and you're back to looking at things that are clean. That's not bad. I broke a sweat, dude. Back to new and fresh. That was 11 and a half minutes, 11 minutes, 31 seconds. But that was, that was dishes for a whole week for a family of four. And this will last on average two months or longer. It was independent laboratory tested to not have an odor. Even after all of that, you don't smell any of that mess. And I know this crew worked very hard to make those messes tough because they love to torture me. Well, this ain't gonna be the first time you get a speed run, so let's see if you can break 11 minutes, 31 seconds next time. You're gonna do it again? We're not gonna tell you when, but... Are you gonna you know. bake stuff on with a blowtorch like this? It's possible. Nobody does that at home.